to enable typing in your form let's go back to our form to represent values from this form we have to create a state object in this form component so this is the state object representing values of this form let's replace this with your seller id go to your two checkout account click on api and from here you can get this uh, publishable key and to get seller id you have to copy your account number now you want to render this form from this state so we have to update values of this form from our state this dot state dot card number and here value is equal to this dot state dot expiry month let's copy this and same for expiry year expiry year now uh, let's type something here some number save it and go back to your browser and you can see that uh, the value that i typed here is now present in our form now whenever i will type i want to get value from this form and uh, set it in my state to do that i will use on change and here let's say e goes to this dot set state e e number to the value from our event e dot value let's save this go back to our application now we can type in this form perfect but there is another smart way to do this let me show you we will extract this function in separate function like this now we can use this function this dot change and then pass our event now what will happen we will pass our on change event then in here we will set state uh, we will grab the id of targeted event in this case it will be cc number and then we will grab the value and we will set state let's save it and let's verify it again we can type in this form now let's uh, copy this line and paste it in our other fields now let's remove this button and let's place button here type is value is submit and we want to do something on this on click event
we will let's uh, let's log this state object console dot log state this dot state let's remove this to submit perfect now let's open our console 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and and you can see here we have this uh, credit card number expiry date and this cbc value we are getting values from our form on submit button event now on this submit button what we will do is we will load this public key and after that we will make request to to, to check our servers to get a token for this credit card information and uh, first we will pass success callback and then we'll then we will pass error callback and uh, then we will pass the id of our form so let's copy this give our form id id is equal to this and uh, and in our success callback uh, we are getting this data and we are displaying token from this data object let's save this and let's go back to our application and open your console go to your to check out uh, account and if you scroll down you can get this uh, example card information let's uh, paste it here let's type month 12 2018 1 to 3 and let's submit this so we are getting this error missing form fields that's because uh, we are not sending all information to to check our servers we have to create hidden field for this for this uh, seller id and the value is this dot state dot seller id let's copy this again and let's create this hidden field for publishable key as well publishable key and publishable key now let's go back to our application refresh it copy content from here paste it here 1 2 3 sorry 1 2 2018 1 2 3 open your console and now we got this token that uh, means you can use this uh, token to make payment for this uh, credit card information that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching